Hey. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Do you feel like you're on house arrest? I definitely feel like I'm on house arrest. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing because... We've been doing interviews for like the last 10 years and I think every time we've done an interview it's always been in person. Like it's yeah. been in person every time. And then this time when we actually have the opportunity and the time to do it, I can't even get close to you, fool. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good now, you know. Uh, minor symptoms. I got like a little my throat a little tight. Uh that's it right now. I don't really feel that outside of that. It's just chilling. No, yeah. Like, uh, turn on the orange pills and inhale that. They say if I inhale it, it'll open my lungs up. So I'm inhaling the steam. I guess this is the only thing I can smoke at this point. I hope it get me high. I remember seeing, like, when the coronavirus stuff started happening, you started posting about it and stuff. And I saw like when you, you know, you had posted like the Boss Life bandana on your face. At any point in this, did you like really think maybe this c could happen to me? I mean, you know, you were you were taking precautions. At the doctor, I'm about to get checked and see if I got corona. Same thing with this bag. Hello? Okay. Sorry. You need blow? I'm good. But like, were you shocked? I definitely was shocked, but I didn't ever feel like I was, you know, out of the, uh, you know, out of the way where I couldn't get it because I just, I'm just so social, you know what I'm saying? I'm around so many people. I'm talking about before it got real serious. I was just, you know what I'm saying, out and about, so traveling. I went to Mexico, Super Bowl, All Star, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so if it was around that long, no telling where it came from the rodeo when they say the cookout dude was there. Oh, sure. You know, so. You know, I, I came to college where it come from or how long we've been around. I remember getting real sick when I was uh, on my last trip. I could have had it back then while I was throwing up. I thought it was the boat. No, I mean, Y'all better strap up. We don't get that coronavirus out there. Just too much traveling. You can't even figure out where the corona came from. <laughs> can't figure it out. You know, I can't figure it out at all. If not that, just, you know, being around out and about in Houston, I'm all way to the mix. You know, like I said before, it got too crazy. I was still out. You know? Yeah. When was the first time that, like, you really heard about it and it clicked for you? Uh, when they started shutting countries down. When yeah. When they started shutting countries, like Italy and all that, that's when I was like, okay, it's for real, for real, getting crazy. And then it came to Cali and it got bad out there. Then it went to New York. I was like, oh, God, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? And I started taking it real serious. And um, really, I got a heads up on this in like January. I was asking Justin, the lawyer, mm -hmm. for pointers on how to how to do stocks. Yeah. And um, and I was asking him, so what makes him make his move or whatever? How he get his information or whatever to make a move or what he want to buy? He said, just you watch the news, the certain people you believe in. And he showed me this one guy. He said it was an OG in the game, and he kind of the OG called out this whole situation. He was saying. You know, I don't know what's up with the stock market. It might crash because, you know, this going on. This, this many uh, deaths already. I don't see no cure nowhere in the future for this. So, this could get, you know, big. That was in January when I was on our trip. So, to see it unfold was crazy. That's so, what made me scared. Yeah, so, so it unfolds and you find out about what's going on. And obviously, it kind of served in a weird way for so many of us artists, uh, it's serving as this weird muse for us, right? You've got you got music coming out, you've got your single, you've got visuals attached to your music that are showing, you know, the news headlines and, and the president and stuff. So kind of walk me through this creative process because I know this is a little bit different than anything you've ever done. Right, so I had a, a project set to drop um, Friday, which is uh, the 27th. Earlier this year, I was going to drop my Thug Life project, and just so happened, all of this started to happen, and now I can't even leave, you know, to you know, help promote my project, but uh, at the end of the day, um, I'm not doing it for numbers, I just do it because I like to put out a certain, I'm a type of rapper, I like, like last year, I had King of the Now was a lot of H-Town, Screw and Chop, you know what I'm saying, that, that type of vibe, I'm a vibe rapper. So after I did that vibe, I wanted to do something real. 
like something that was going on this project. I want to do a solid project with nothing but samples from guys like my favorite guy, Mr. Lee, and you know, my homeboy, Young Sam, and such. So I did that, and I wanted to talk about my life in this project. So I called it Thug Life, you know, in honor of my boy Pop. And, um, and that's what it is, man. I got in the studio, work, got a couple records with Zero, got even Scarface on the um, record with me, Zero and Scarface. We had one of those I put on there. Um, and I just wanted to make a real record for, the, uh, for my fans. And I think they really gonna enjoy this one a whole lot. That's awesome. So you got Scarface, you got face on the record. So what? when were you guys in the studio together? Cause you guys both got the Rona. So what happened there? Were you guys sharing the same cup that day? Uh, we definitely, we, this, this record we have has, has been done for a while. Okay. Uh, it was really originally supposed to be for the King of the Boss album when we in zero. But uh, yeah, I just felt like, like I said, I was looking for a certain vibe. And mm -hmm. um, this fit the vibe because it has a sample, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. You know, it's, it's about real life. So uh, I decided to put it, I talked to zero, I decided to put it on there. And it's sad that, you know, uh, uh, me and Face end up with this, and this is what the circumstances did. I definitely feel sorry for him. And I talked to him last night, and ran for him. It's crazy and ironic how all that happened. You know what I'm saying? Oh, totally. It sucks that you and Face are in this position, but you're embracing this. You're doing an online album release listening party tonight like look at how you know what i mean like there there's a lot to be said like i i give you a lot of props for being so flexible and resilient what up with it world welcome to my listening party man i'm so happy that you joined me today today we will be uh jamming a new Thug Life album. I'm planning on dropping. Really, it's going to be... How you doing, Miss Tina? How y'all doing? Who in the building, matter of fact? Yeah, what's good? What's good? Welcome to the listening party, man. Y'all looking fresh. I see you, baby. I see you. Yeah, okay. I, I can't leave the house, but I, you know, I still want to be able to uh, interact with my fans and give them something. This is something of these times. The album I'm putting out is perfect for what's going on right now because it's that type of rap. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna make it through this type of rap, you know what I'm saying? Me yeah. and Zero got a record so hard, it's just like a gospel song to me. I love it so much, but it's it's, it's I can't wait for people to hear it because it's perfect for what's going on right now. Ain't nothing like motherfucking Texas music. Ain't nothing like when my nigga Ro is singing on the motherfucking cars, man. It's amazing, bro. Some people gonna be able to listen to and feel better. It's gonna be therapy to a lot of folks. So, you know, I look forward to dropping it. I just want, I wanna be a part that help people get through this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give them some a soundtrack that they can ride. I mean, well, not ride, because they need to stay home. <laughs> just vibe too at the house, you know what I'm saying? And get them through these tough times, because, you know, a lot of people mad, a lot of people going through stuff. They sad, whatever it may be. So I just wanna kinda, you know, put out something that's gonna be good for that time. I mean, that's gonna be good to help. I love they it. Told me to push it back. They was like, man, you should push it back so you can leave and promote. I'm like, man, I don't, I'm not chasing sales. You know, I really just do this as an underground artist, and it's about staying consistent and delivering solid projects. It ain't about being on the radio. It's just to me now at 39, it's just about connecting with my fans and giving them a solid piece of work that I know they can enjoy, you know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. That's where I'm at with it. Man, this is amazing. It's the liveest listening party I've ever had in my life. On the cool, everybody here. You know what I'm talking about? So what y'all think about that, man? That's number two. Life is crazy. Thug life. What an amazing feeling, though, to know that what you set out to do was impact people. And then now we've got this whole mess happening around us. And now these words are going to hit. 10 times harder, right? What is your message to like a lot of these music makers right now that have the opportunity to use this time where they're in pain or they're feeling some kind of way to really turn it into something beautiful to help people? Yeah, I lost like six shows out top when this corona happened. I know uh, I know the younger artists don't suffer a lot more than me. Um, but uh, I would suggest that they get the work, man. Get the work, use your platform. Uh, give people something to watch. Everybody tuned in. Everybody uh, uh, want to see something. Want to hear something. You know, they want they want content. So give the people what they want. And, you know, uh, expand your audience. Now, you 
be DJs, DJ clubs with less than 500 people, DJing to 150,000 people online, you know what I'm saying? So it's getting crazy, so it's getting, it's getting big, and you can use your platform and, and open up new doors and, and make uh, old new moves and open up new worlds with this. And that's what I'm going to try to do. I don't know if you knew the news. It's DJ Thugger on the ones and twos. I've been doing my little quarantine mixes. I've been doing them on my own. I say, fuck it, we finna go live. You know what I'm saying? It's just natural on the cool, because I've been doing this for a while. I've been trying to learn how to chop and screw and get better at that on the DJ side. So I've been going live in front of people and just asking them to, you know, give me requests. If you look on my Instagram, I've been doing it for a long time. And now that the quarantine came, it's like everybody else thought the real DJs came in and, you know, blew it up even more. So it's like yeah. crazy. And just, but I, my fans are already used to it. You know, I, I, I even with songs, I, I, I always go to live and play something new they never heard before for instant feedback. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's awesome. Are you finding inspiration to make new music right now while you're stuck at home? I definitely I haven't did no new music since I've been, you know, sick or whatever. But I'm going to get with Mr. Lee and we're going to get started on some more music right now. I'm going to hit everybody up. That's amazing. Okay, lastly, Slim, I just want to touch on, you know, um, I feel like over the last 10 years, I've seen, like, such an incredible transformation in you with... Um, just the level of like self-love and respect that you have for like the life that you want to lead. What is your message right now for a lot of people that are freaking out, that are negative, that are feeling stuck? What what is what is DJ Thugga's advice to people stuck in the quarantine? I know they need to be listening to your music. That's gonna make them feel better. But I mean, really, what is the best way to to really look at this and use it as a positive to help build something great in the future? That's really what they need to do is just look at it and try to figure out a way they can make it uh make it useful for them. You know, it's gonna be uh. It's going to be different advice for different people, but for the most part, I say just take advantage of being at home, whether it's spending that time with your family. If you don't spend enough time with your family, take advantage of that. Whether it's planning out your whole year because you can't go nowhere, you might want to sit down and set you, up, set you some goals and projects you're working on on the side. You never finish. Take advantage of that. If you're around the house, your house been needing a lot of housework, get on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever it may be, if you never get to sit down, enjoy this time to sit down and relax and reset your mind and body. Uh, work out, whatever you can do, you know, to um, do something that, that's going to uh, benefit your life, you know. And that's what I'm going to probably do is just try to map out my whole year, get some work done, and rest at the same time. So For sure. Uh, well, I'm really looking forward to memorizing the lyrics to every one of your songs, Slim, so I'll keep you posted on that. But um, I really hope you feel better. And like props, you know, I appreciate your time. I really do. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me, you're, you're so welcome. I'm going to have you do a quick drop about the album. Okay, you ready? Yep. What up? It's your boy Slim Thugger dropping that new album, Thug Life. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Music Houston, what it do. Right. You're amazing. Sending so much love. Good luck. If you need anything, let me know. We'll talk soon. All right, thank you. Okay, thanks. bye, honey. Okay. Well, that was the call with Slim Thug. Super awesome.